All right, in this video, we're going to take a short look at how to add vectors together by using vector components. Now, I'll be honest, this is my second time making this video because the first time I went through and did about half the problem before I realized that I forgot to put the magnitudes on there. So, we're going to start this over and we're going to do it right this time. I've got vector A here, which is at a direction of 25 degrees or 25 degrees north of east at with a magnitude of 12 newtons. Okay, vector B is similar. It's got it's a magnitude of 13 newtons. Newtons are a measure of force, and it is going at a direction of negative 105 degrees, right? 105 degrees below the zero there. Okay, um, so we're going to go ahead and add these together, vector A and vector B. And we're going to do this using components. Now I'm going to go ahead and start off by just drawing a picture of what we're looking at here. So we've got vector A, which should go up like this at 12 newtons, right? 25 degrees. And then we're going to add on vector B. So vector B head to tail, something like this, right? So there's my vector B. And we know that that's 13 newtons, and that it is an angle of 105. Okay, now let's go ahead and put in our C vector. Okay, that's what they're going to add together to get. So I'm going to say they add together to give me C. Okay, so I start at my starting point, and then I go down and towards the head, and that's where the head of my arrow is. So this is vector C. Okay. Now, the idea of using the components, of course, is that we break A and B down into components so that we can find out what C is. Okay. If I can break A down into an X and Y component and break B down into X and Y components, then this is basically what it would look like. If I add together the A X component and the B X component, then that will give me vector C in the X direction. I'm going to do the same thing for the Y's. If I can get A in the Y direction and add on B in the Y direction, then that will give me the resultant vector in the Y direction. Okay. Now the neat thing is, once I have those, C in the Y direction and C in the X direction, then I can find my actual resultant vector. Okay, I can get both the magnitude and the angle. Um, so you'll notice here that the a to the x has nothing to do, doesn't come from the b. I don't have to use this picture right here in order to find the component vectors. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go back up here to my original drawings and that's where I'm going to do my component vectors because it's going to be a lot easier to think about and a lot easier to work with. Okay, So I'm going to start with my vector A here. And the way I usually do this is I'll start at the starting point and I'll do my x vector. I just for some reason like to do my x vectors first. Okay. And then I'll go from there and I'll connect the head head to tail to create my y vector. So basically you're adding vectors but you're working them through it backwards. So these two vectors right here should add together to give me that one. And now you should know that using your trig you should be able to find out the values of each of those. Okay. So I'm going to do sine first. So using our SOKATOA, okay, the sine will give me the opposite over the adjacent. So sine of 25 equals the y component over 12, opposite over adjacent. I'm going to go to my calculator here, okay, and I'm going to type in 12 times the sine of 25, and that gives me, ah, you know what, I bet that it's not in degrees. So let's put it in degrees. Oh, we got to go down, over, okay, so now it's in degrees, so let's try that again. Okay, so 12 times the sine of 25 is 5.07. 
So that means y is going to be 5.07. So that would be a in the y direction is 5.07. Using sig figs, we're just going to say 5.1. OK, and then we'll do the same thing with the cosine. So I'm going to uh, switch over to blue for that one, because that's going to give me the x direction. So cosine of 25 adjacent over hypotenuse. So that'll be x over 12. And so let's take our calculator, and we'll do 12 times, so 12 times the cosine of 25. And then we'll push Enter, and we get 10.9. OK, so AX is 10.9 uh, newtons, of course. OK, so now I've got A. And so now I'm going to do the same exact thing with vector B. I'll go through it a little bit quicker this time. OK, let's go ahead and start. Uh, you, like I say, I start here. I go over there. And then I'll do the Y vector starting from the head. OK, notice head to tail. OK, it doesn't really matter. You could have done the same thing over here and gone down and then to the left. Right? As long as you start at the starting point and end at the ending point, it doesn't really matter. I get the same blue vector. It's exactly the same, same direction, same magnitude, and I get the same red vector. Right? So here we go. This is B in the x direction, and this one will be B in the y direction. Okay, and we'll use trig to find each of those. So let's do the sine first. So the sine of, now this is 105 degrees, which means this will have to be 75, right, to get up to 180 for the whole thing. So the sine of 75 equals opposite over hypotenuse, okay? So the math will be 13 times sine of 75. So let's go 13 times the sine of 75 all right which is 12.55 or 12.6 so y equals 12.6 okay and then we'll do the same thing with the x and so we'll do cosine of 75 will give you the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So we'll do the same thing again, except this time we'll do 13 cosine of 75, okay, which is going to give me 3.4. So now I've got x equals 3.4. And of course, this is b in the x direction, and this other one was b in the y direction. And so now that I've got the components, right, I got the components for a right here, and I got the components for b right here, I can just add them using the formulas that I wrote before. a to the x is 10.9, so 10.9, and that was in the positive direction. Now you'll notice that this one right here, this bx is left, and so that's actually going to be negative 3.4. And so that'll be plus a negative 3.4, okay? And so 10.9 plus negative 3.4, right? So we'll go 10.9 plus negative 3.4, and that gives me 7.5. So 7.5 newtons, OK? So that's my C. And then I'll do the same thing right here with the Y's. So A to the Y was 5.1. And that was going up, so that was positive. And then BY was going down, so that's going to be negative. So plus negative 12.6 
right? And we add those together, 5.1 and negative 12.6. So 5.1 plus negative 12.6. And we get negative 7.5. Whoa, that's pretty crazy. Didn't plan on that one. Negative 7.5. And so that would be C in the Y direction. Okay. Now hopefully you're okay once I have those, negative 7.5 and 7.5 here. Hopefully you're okay with being able to find the vector and the, the magnitude and direction there. If not, please look at the next video.